Okay guys, so welcome back here at DEC Engineering Tutorials. So, uh, we will just continue our topics on structural theory. So this time, we're going to discuss about uh, shear and moment diagrams. So, shear and mom bending moment diagrams are analytical tools used in conjunction with structural analysis to help perform structural design by determining the value of shear force and bending moment at a given point of a structural element such as a beam. So, these diagrams can be used to easily determine the type or the size and material of a member in a structure so that a given set of loads can be supported without structural failure. Another application of shear and moment diagram is that the deflection of a beam can be easily determined using either the moment area method or the conjugate beam method. So the goal for shear and bending moment diagram is to determine the internal forces. So those are the actual force shear force and bending moment. So important notes to be taken is shear is maximum at a point where the value of load W is zero and moment is maximum at a point where value of shear is zero. Okay, so We have sign conventions uh, being used. So the sign convention commonly used for the actual force, shear and bending moments is shown in the figure. So we have uh, external loads that are considered uh, positive. So we have a couple or a moment in clockwise direction. We have also the downward uh, force and a uniform load, downward uniform load. For a negative, so just reverse of the positive. So for the shear force, so this is our assumption. So uh, positive shear force happens when the external forces uh, push the left section up and the right section down. So that's reverse with the negative. So down yung dito, then up yung dito. For the bending moment, so madali lang siyang tignan, uh, yung parang smiley, and dito is parang sad face yung, yung beam natin. Eh? So uh, positive bending moments uh, bends the beam concave upward. No? Parang smiley siya while the negative bending moments uh, bend the beam concave downward so parang uh, naka sad face no? so ganun yung sign convention na uh, ginagamit natin no? so this is very us uh, useful if we want or if you want to know the shear and bending moment or we want to draw the shear and bending moment using uh, meter of sections where we cut a section along the beam. So, uh, I'm also going to uh, share my uh, method on how I formulate uh, shear and bending moment diagram. So, using uh, Kalaki's Kite Guide. So, uh, I developed the Kalaki's Kite Guide after combining the shear and uh, bending moment diagram caused by a moment or a couple, uh, a point, uh, a uniform load, a varying load, parabolic load, and other spandrel loads in a simple beam together with the sign conventions. So I called it as a kite guide since the overall diagram that I've created resembles a kite no? and this can be used as a guide in drawing the shear and moment diagrams so this is not only applicable for simple beam so even to continuous beam restrained beam 
uh, so this is also uh, very useful uh, but not for uh, cantilever beam so uh, anyway uh, later in the video uh, we will uh, learn how to apply uh, my Kalaki Skype guide in various problems so how it looks so this is my kite guide so as you see we have a rope here so it, it resembles like a kite so the rope here uh, stands for uh, this part which is uh, being fixed no? so uh, dito kasi in assume ko na yung shear tsaka yung load uh, behavior is the same lang no? at this quadrant so kaya dyan yung low bit na nilagay ko no? And then, <clears throat> and then we have also a special case where uh, the only given is uh, actual load and moment. No? So, the top part is with respect to load and the bottom part is with respect to shear area and also the moment curve. Uh, I'll explain the Kalaki Skype Guide in a more detailed way. So, so this is the Kite Guide. No? Just to simplify things out, we just uh, I just remove all the terms. So, the convention is just, this is positive because this is pertaining to load that is increasing. No? Uh, think of it as this is zero and then we have a magnitude here. No? load so that is an increasing load so that is a positive then the rest is uh, in pattern so if this is positive so this is negative so if this is positive this is positive and if this is negative so this is negative so uh, parang opposite lang sila no? so parang nagiging cross lang yung product uh, yung, yung pattern so ganun lang so this one pertains to the load uh, curve. Uh, this one pertains to shear curve. And then this one pertains to a moment curve. Okay, so we'll explain that in more detail. So here uh, we have a positive sign. So meaning this is a load increasing. Well, dito sa kabila is we have a load that is decreasing. No? So imagine we have a certain value or a certain magnitude here and it goes down back to zero. So the load is uh, decreasing. No? Or by the sign, we have minus, so that is a decreasing sign. So with that load behavior, uh, that is uh, closely, re uh, closely related to uh, shear. No? So if the load is positive, so the shear is here down below uh, that is concave downward okay so if the load is positive concave downward and if the sh uh, load is uh, decreasing so it is concave up upward no? so as you see yung load tsaka yung shear dito is uh, sa isang quadrant lang so kaya dyan ko nalagay yung load for the kite so, ganun yung behavior ng shear tsaka load. So, in terms naman sa shear area, so, kailangan natin to for the relationship of shear, uh, between shear and moment. So, dito sa baba, ito yung mga sign nila. We, we have minus and positive. So, we are considering the area. So, if the shear area is negative, it, dito yun. If the shear area is positive, so, dito yan. No? Uh, by the sign itself, uh, it says that the shear area is negative. Dito is the shear area is positive. So, how it is related to moment? Okay, so this too pertains to the uh, shear area. So, if the shear area is negative, so this is the corresponding moment curve. No? So, it is going down or uh, moment curve is uh, somewhat like uh, decreasing. And if the shear area is positive, so 
shear area is positive so this is the corresponding uh, moment curve no? so it is somewhat, uh, somewhat like the moment curve is going up or increasing so uh, to summarize if the load is increasing uh, the load is increasing so the shear curve concave downward so this is the corresponding shear curve so the load is increasing and kung saan yung nasa lubid so fix yung shear tsaka moment at, at that quadrant no? so the first quadrant so if the load is decreasing so as you observe uh, we have a minus sign the load is decreasing so ito, ito naman yung corresponding uh, shear na uh, shear curve nya no? so the shear is concave upward and with respect to uh, area shear area is negative so this one so this is the corresponding curve so the moment curve is uh, somewhat like decreasing or going down so uh, probably uh, they are uh, mostly related na? and And on the other side, if the shear area is positive, so we have a positive sign. So this is the corresponding uh, moment curve. So it is somewhat like uh, increasing or going up. So that's how we use the Kalaki sky guide. So with respect to the degrees of curve, so this is the load curve. So if the load curve is 1 degree, so it means it's a line. So, the corresponding shear curve will be second degree. No? So, it could be a parabolic curve. No? Or a spandrel curve, a second degree spandrel curve. No? Or parabola. So, you just need to add 1 for shear. And again, you need to add 1 for the moment. So, if the shear is second degree, so, uh, di ba, ano lang yan? Um, magka-opposite lang yung shear na. So, if second degree, pagdating dun sa moment, magiging third degree na siya. So, this is a third degree spandrel, uh, spandrel curve. Huh? So, yun yung moment curve. So, if we change the load into a uniform load, so, bali, zero degree siya, or, nakikita natin na parang rectangular yung load, so, ito yung mga corresponding shear niya. No? So, laging fix yung dito sa first quadrant. Dito talaga lagi yung shear. Kaya dun, dito yung loaded. So, kung 0 degree or uniform load, so, pagdating natin sa shear, that is first degree. So, ibig sabihin, instead na spandrel, magiging line na lang siya. No? So, ganun din dito. So, instead na spandrel, magiging line na lang siya. So, yun yung sa corresponding shear curve or uh, 0 degree curve. Okay, so we have also special case where uh, wala tayong mga uniform or varying load. No? So this time, yung meron lang tayo is yung axial, axial load, no, no, uh, point load, so yung P, and a moment. So ganito naman siya pag gamit. No? So with respect to axial load, so ito yung magiging uh, corresponding shear curve niya. So, naka 0 degree lang, no? Bali, naka line lang. And then, ito naman yung magiging corresponding moment curve niya. So, if the shear area is positive, so, increasing yung uh, curve natin sa moment. If the shear area is negative, so, decreasing din yung moment curve natin. No? So, since our shear curve is 0 degrees, kasi naka line lang, uh, naka straight line, so, pagdating na din sa moment curve, that is a 1 degree. No? So, we have a straight line here. With respect to moment, so, ganito naman siya paggamit. No? So, take note, uh, we start here, then we go to here. No? So, ito yung shaded niya. So, ito naman yung corresponding uh, <coughs> moment curve. No? So, yan yung corresponding moment curve niya. So, so, this moment, uh, what is that? Uh, counterclockwise moment. 
we take it as a negative sign. So if you see a counterclockwise moment that is present in your uh, beam, so you need to deduct uh, that. No? So yung sign convention niya is minus. So that's how we use the uh, the Kalaki Skype method no? for for a given moment. So, ito naman yung corresponding uh, moment uh, curve niya. Na? So, if <clears throat> if the moment is uh, counterclockwise. And on the other side, so, start tayo dito. Ayan dito. So, dito yung shaded natin. So, ito na yung convention ng moment natin. So, bali yung moment natin is clockwise. So, the sign convention is this one, no? the positive one. So, ito yung corresponding uh, moment curve niya. So, so ganun. No? Yung paggamit natin sa Kalaki Sky method. So, you can use this Kalaki Skype method for uh, given moment, uh, axial load, uniform load, varying load, uh, parabolic load, and, or any nth degree na spandrel curve na, na load. So, pwede mo siyang gamitin. Okay, so next is the uh, illustrative examples. So, here in our example, we will use the Kanaki Skype method in uh, creating a shear and moment diagram. Okay, so, uh, punta tayo dito sa example. So, ito na yung uh, Kanaki Skype guide natin. So, this is very useful in uh, drawing a shear and moment diagram. So, example of two examples here. So, solve, kumu, uh, solve muna natin yung first example. So, draw lang natin yung shear and uh, moment diagram for a given uh, beam uh, that are subjected to a varying load and a point load. No? So, we have varying load na 20 kN meter and point load of 30 kN meter. Okay, so first, uh, nothing is solved is the uh, support reactions. So we compute for the support reactions. So this one solution. So, first is support reactions. So, by symmetry, yeah, kung titignan natin dito sa center niya, so, we have a symmetrical load. No? So, ibig sabihin, yung reaction at point A and point E are equal. No? So, uh, we can see here that reaction at A and E are equal. So, by symmetry, are equal. So, since equal sila, so it, uh, it means that summation of forces uh, along y-axis is just uh, divided by 2 is equal to the reaction. So we just need to get the total uh, load uh, subjected on the beam and then we divide it by 2. So, so we get the area of every load. So for varying, we have 1 half of 
3 by 20 and then we have 30 and then again we have one half of 3 by 20 so we just need to divide it by 2 so we have now the value of the reactions so we just need to compute it uh, so so we have uh, muna natin. so I have uh, 0.5 of uh, 3 times 20 plus 30 again we have 0 0.5 so we have 3 times 20 so we just need to divide it by 2 so the answer is 45 so we have 45 kilo newton Okay, so uh, you can also get the value of the reaction by uh, using summation. No? Summation of moment at point E equal to zero. So uh, another solution. So if we use summation of moment at point E equal to zero and we assume that uh, this rotation is a positive one so we have reaction so patungo dun sa point A so the same siya sa uh, assume direction natin so this is a positive so we have 3, 6, 7, 8 and then for the uh, varying load so unahin ko muna yung dito so, yung equivalent concentrated load nito is just one half of the uh, area ng load. No? So, we have one half of 3 by 20. And then, yung center of gravity nito, I mean, uh, I mean centroid, is just one third of 3. So, we have 1. So, yung total distance niya, Patungo dun sa point E is we have uh, 3, 4, 5, 6 meter. Okay, so ganun, no? So we have, uh, that is reverse dun sa assume natin na direction. So minus, so minus 1 half of 3 by 20. And then, so yung moment arm niya is we have 6 meter patungo dun sa point E and then we have also 30 kN so yung moment arm niya patungo dun sa point E we have 4 meters and then uh, next kukunin natin yung equivalent again na concentrated load for triangular loads which is just the area of the triangle the load diagram so we have 3 times 20 and then moment arm ito is so, so ito yung centroid nya so that is just 2 third of of 3 no? so we have 2 so therefore we have 1 half of 3 times 20 times 2 so I think wala nang wala nang ibang load so equate na natin ng 0 so we solve for RA so we get the value of so, we just need to input that in our calculator. So, alpha x times 8. And then, minus uh, 0.5 of 3 times 20. And then, yung moment arm niya is we have 6 meters. Uh, we have 30 times 4. And then, yung uh, 0 0.5 that is one half 0 0.5 of 3 times 20 and then your moment arm is 2 meters so 
equal to 0, ship sold. So we get the value of uh, 45. No? So we have x na 45. So we have 45 kilometer. Okay. Okay, so ito pala yung reserve na value niya. I mean, stored value na. Oh. Okay, so we have 45 kilonewtons. So, if the beam is symmetrical, so it would be uh, good to use uh, the concept of bisymmetry since uh, it maximizes your time. Na? So, it lessens the computational effort for the computation of support reactions. Okay, so we have now the reaction at point E. So, we just need to use summation of forces uh, along y-axis to get the value of reaction at A. So, it would be uh, RA plus RE minus the total load. So, we have 1 half of 3 times 20. And then we have 30. And then we have uh, 1 half of 3 times 20 equal to 0. So, therefore, we have the value of RA. So, that is expected to be 45. Kasi symmetrical. Anyway, uh, solve na lang natin. So, we have 0 0.5 or ano na uh, we have RA that is 45 plus ito yung anong RE minus uh, 0.5 of 3 times 20 and then minus 30 minus 0.5 of 3 times 20 so we just need to equate this one by 0 so again the value is 45 kilo so uh, by symmetry is again is the fastest way if symmetrical yung uh, beam natin tsaka yung load niya na in apply and page so we have now the the support reaction so uh, it's time to draw the uh, shear and moment diagram Pinin ko lang yung mga hindi ko kailangan. So, so, oh, okay. Okay, so I think it's not that you know, look at the RA. So, yung RA natin is 45, and then here is also 45 kilometer. So, group ko na lang to. So, draw natin yung uh, shear moment diagram. So, project ko muna yung mga uh, load natin. Para malinis tignan na eh, yung computation. So, draw muna natin yung uh, shear diagram. So, we have 45. So, ito yung shear diagram natin. 
so we have 45 so uh, catch nya ng 45 kasi meron tayong 45 na uh, thank you for that so, meron tayong 45 na upward force na so this one is 45 and then uh, yung shear is just the uh, it's just the area of uh, of the load so ibig sabihin kung meron tayong 45 i-deduct lang natin yung area ng load natin no? so uh, just uh uh, okay, so we have uh, 45 minus the area of our loop diagram. So we have uh, one half of three times three times uh, 20. So we get the value of 15. So we have 15. So let's say it again, 15. And then uh, using the Kalaki Skype method. So uh, we have here. Okay, so we have uh, 45 and then a shear of 15. No? So, as you see here, uh, our load is in 1 degree. So, we are expecting uh, a second degree curve for the shear. So, the question is, is it concave up or, uh, upward or concave downward? No? So, we go to uh, Kalaki Skype method. And so, the load is increasing. So, it means that it falls here, the load. So, the corresponding shear uh, diagram will be uh, this one. So, this is the corresponding shear diagram. So, we just need to connect these two points. So, that point is a second degree. Uh, Using ko lang. Okay, so that is a second degree curve. So we have uh, upward and then curve. Okay, so next is dito sa point C. So uh, again, using the uh, Kalaki Skype method. So, if we have the applied load of axial load, so the corresponding moment curve is just this one. No? So, it means uh, it's just straight line. So, we have straight line here and then we down to 30. So, we have uh, 15 minus 30. So we get a uh, negative 15. So this one is a negative 15. So we just draw a line for the shear. Again, since we have no applied load here, so which is the same here, we have no applied load here. Just need to remove that one. So we have no applied load here, so we just need to draw a straight line and also this one. So we have a straight line. So next is uh, we need to compute for uh, shear here at the point A. So, so in this case, uh, 
we have negative 15 so we just need to continue computing the, the shear so we have negative 15 and then minus because uh, my sign convention then we yung road data no? so <clears throat> so bali it creates a negative uh, shear for that so we have uh, one half and then uh, one half and then three by twenty So we have negative 45. So we have negative 45. And then here we have 45. This point here. So <clears throat> we just need to add the negative 45 plus the reaction at E, which is 45. So that equals to zero this one here is zero so it start from zero start from zero to 45 to 15 to negative 15 and down to negative 45 so again using the kalaki uh, skype method So, the load is uh, decreasing, no? so from 10 to down to 0, so ito siyang a quadrant, so yung equivalent uh, shear diagram niya will be this one, so that is concave upward, so I just draw the concave upward here. Yeah. So, ito na yung uh, shear moment diagram natin. I mean, uh, shear diagram. Kunin pa lang natin yung moment diagram. So, uh, I just need to uh, shade ko lang yung diagram natin. Then, uh, mag-label na tayo ng mga degree, of course. So, we have second degree, uh, zero degree, zero degree, second degree. Okay, so, next is the uh, moment diagram. So, check na lang natin to. So, kukunin natin yung moment diagram. So, again. So, sa so moment diagram natin is uh, first, uh, meron tayong mga 0 at simple n kasi hindi sila fix. So, hindi sabihin i-release lang nila yung moment. So, the moment is just the area of shear. So, kukumpitin na lang natin yung area ng shear. So, let's compute for this one. So, we just need to divide the area of shear, this point, into 2. So, 1 is for the parabola. Kasi sa second degree to yan, no? So, ibig sabihin, uh, area 1 is a parabola and this point here is a rectangle. Okay. So, let's compute for that. So, the area of the 
uh, parabola is we have a uh, two third of the base times height. No? So base times height. <coughs> so we have base that is three meters, and then the height is just this one. So the height for this one is so one. So we have uh, forty five minus fifteen. So therefore we have uh, thirty. And then oh so you know. So we have thirty. Ito yung area ng parabola. And then yung sa rectangle is we have uh, three times fifteen. So if you compute that one. So we have now uh, two third of the parabola, three times thirty, and plus three times fifteen. So the value is hundred five. So we have a total value of hundred five. So we just need to plot that one. So we have hundred five here. So, let's say ito na lang yung 105. So, balik tayo dun sa uh, Galapis Kite uh, Guide. So, yung shear natin is positive. No? Kasi above siya dun sa x-axis natin. So, this is taken as a positive shear. So, ibig sabihin, uh, dito siya mag-form, no? positive shear. So, yung equivalent na moment diagram niya is I mean, uh, yung, yung corresponding moment curve niya is ito yan. This one. So, connect na lang natin yan. So, kung second degree to, so, ibig sabihin, pagdating niya dito is third degree na. Okay, next is, meron tayong 105. So, add na lang natin yung area dito. Sa, sa figure na to. Ito one. So, bali, meron tayong uh, 105. Plus... Uh, 15 times uh, this distance. No? So we have 15 times 1. Or 15 na lang yung lagay mo. So we have 120. So again, the value is 120. So sabihin na lang natin, ito yung 120. So ngayon, so dito pa rin siya sa positive uh, shear, no? So, dito pa rin yan, no? So, positive shear. And then, ito yung corresponding moment curve niya, no? So, wh however, uh, yung degree nung shear curve is 0 degree. So, pagdating niya dito sa moment, mag-add ka lang ng 1, no? So, magiging three, uh, 1 degree na lang. So, that is a line. So, connect lang natin. So, this is a 1 degree. So, meron na tayo. And then, Meron na tayong uh, negative shear. So, uh, may deduct na lang natin to Kasi negative shear na tayo. So, meron tayong 120 minus uh, 15. Bali yung area ng figure na to That is 15 times 1. Okay? So, isulat ko na lang lahat para at least makita nyo yung yung ano nyo. Paano siya kinumpute. No? So, we have 105. So again, this is a zero degree, uh, this is a negative shear. So using the uh, using the Kalakis kite guide, 
So, makikita natin dito na uh, dito na siya banda, no? Dito sa negative shear. So, we have a, ne we have a negative shear. So, yung corresponding uh, moment curve niya is ito yun. No? So, however, yung degree ng curve ng shear is 0. So, we just need to add 1. So, pero meron tayong uh, going down na moment curve. No? So, so, ibig sabihin, meron tayong going down. Dito. So, we just need to go down. And then, lastly, uh, meron tayong 105. So, it must be 0. No? Para makita natin na tama yung uh, shear natin. So, so again, uh, i-deduct lang natin yan sa area ng shear na to. So, meron tayong sa sa, uh, sa rectangle na part. And then, meron tayong sa parabola. So, which is, uh, ito pa rin yan. Ha? So, gawin ko na lang uh, figure 1 pa rin to. And then, ito is figure 2. So, ito pa rin yan. Ha? So, this is a negative shear. So, computing ko muna. So, I have uh, negative 105. And then, alam natin yung combination ng area 1 saka area 2 is 105. So, we just need to deduct it kasi negative na yung shear. So, <clears throat> continue lang tayo. Uh, 105 minus 105. Okay? So, naging 0. So, dapat maging 0 siya. Uh, ngayon, using kalakis kahit nito, <coughs> yung shear natin is negative. So, again, dito pa rin yun. So, ito yung equivalent na uh, moment curve niya. No? So, co-connect lang natin yan by going down na moment curve. So, okay, yan, no? So, kung ito siya sa uh, second degree, so pagdating niya dito, is magiging third degree na. So, again, kung dito zero degree, so pagdating niya dito, magiging first degree na. So, dyan sa load, uh, wala siyang degree, no? Kaya kung dating niya dito, zero degree, one degree. Dito, mayroon tayong first degree or a triangular load. Pagdating sa shear, naging second degree. Pagdating sa moment, naging third degree. So, we just need to uh, shidan lang nga ito. No? So, we have now the moment diagram. So, ganun, no? So, ang kalakis kite method or kalakis kite guide will be also useful in drawing the shear and bending moment diagram. So anyway, uh, you can use uh, any, any method as you want. However, in this video is uh, I'll be using uh, my kalakis kite uh, guide method. Okay, so. So, medyo mahaba yung video. So, thank you for listening and watching. So, see you in the next video. Thank you.